Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you about intelligent agents in artificial intelligence. So please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. So first you have to know what are agents. Basically agent is anything that what it does it perceives its environment through sensors. Now you are going to ask what are sensors? So sensors are basically essential components it could be like hardware for example you can say camera is a sensor that is the example of sensor so an agent per perceives its environment through the sensors and it is going to act upon that environment through actuators actuators are something that are moving around a system or doing something around a system that is actuators okay so let me tell you here as you can see an agent is what it's gonna do is it can perceive its environment through the sensors okay and then it going to act upon that environment through actuators basically whatever actions it will do it will do upon the actuators through the environment okay so basically the agent program runs in cycles of three things the first one is it will perceive and the second one it will think and the third it will act so agent you can in a short uh, meaning you can say architecture plus program is an agent okay there are two types of agent one can one is the human agent and the second is the robotic agent human agent if we see sensor as i have told you sensors i give you the example of cameras that could be an robotic agent okay but if you talk about human agent about ourselves then what our sen are our sensors our eyes our ears and our um, nose these all are sensors okay and actuators can be basically hands legs mouth and other body parts okay sensors are basically that can see hear okay so uh, eyes and ears are the sensors and hands legs and mouth are the actuators but if we see about robotic and their sensors are cameras and the infrared range finders and actuators are various motors so agents everywhere for example they have given thermostat cell phone vacuum cleaner robot alex and all so let me give you an example of vacuum cleaner in a vacuum cleaner what it's it will percept is a is what a is clean its action is right okay a is dirty it's gonna suck but b is clean it is left b is dirty and it's suck okay percepts are locations and coordinates so what is rational agent rational agent basically it it will always do the right thing okay a rational agent is always going to select an action that is expected to maximize its performance measure okay so rationality means to perform right things it's relative to a performance measure okay we can judge rationality based on the following four things that is its performance measure what does the performance measure do the performance measure basically defines the criterion of the success and the agent is prior knowledge of the environment so the possible actions that the agent can perform we can judge the rationality okay so let me so the next comes peace what is peace peace basically stands for performance environment actuators and sensor this topic is very important because in many exams you can see questions related to peace okay so when we define a rational agent we group all these properties under peace okay so what is the uh, solution for this task environment that is the rational agent we want to design so we have to understand these four that is performance environment actuators and sensors for example now we are going to see the performance environment actuators and sensors for a car now just just think about it what is the performance of a car what do you think let me show you it could be time its safety its legal drive its comfort these all are performance of a self driving car okay what could be its environment trees 
roads other cars pedestrians road signs or maybe you can see many more things that are its environment that means environment is basically what you're gonna what you are gonna see around that thing so if you see the piece for self-driving car what could be its environment that could be you can see a road in which you are driving your car you can see other cars you can see pedestrians you can see road signs you can see people also as well so that's your environment what could be your actuators so actuators could be steering accelerator you break your signal and the horn of the car okay and if you see sensor sensors is basically camera it's gps it's sonar it's speedometer odometer engine and keyboards etc so it's very easy to define now i think you would have understand what is peace okay so let me take you the next example the next if you see the performance and environment and actuator sensors of a vacuum cleaner so if you see vacuum cleaner what could be its performance its performance is could be its cleanness that means it sh it should be clean okay its battery life is going to be the performance its security is going to be the performance okay so it's very important to understand so now just think that what could be the environment of a vacuum cleaner just tell me it could be your room your table your wood floor your carpet and different obstacles like your chair also it could be means you are, you are using a vacuum cleaner you can clean around your cupboard also so these all are things are the environment of a vacuum cleaner so whenever you are talking about peace you have to look its environment that means if it's about car you have to see its environment like road and all but if you are talking about vacuum cleaner it's very important for you to understand its environment what could be its actuators of course wheels its brushes and the vacuum extract and its sensor could be camera of course first of all it could be camera its sensor cliff sensor bump sensors and many more okay so now i'm going to tell you what the environment types okay we have talked about the environment now i'm going to tell its type okay the first one is fully observable that it's comparing to the partially observable it means the agents it gives its access to the complete state of the environment okay fully observable means it's going to give its full access to the environment okay at every point in a time that's fully observable okay if you talk about deterministic it could be the next state of the environment is completely determined from the current state like the current state and the action okay that the, that is being executed by the agent okay this from this current state the next state of the environment is completely determined so that is called deterministic okay if you talk about stochastic so it's opposite of deterministic stochastic is basically we cannot uh, uh, from the current state we cannot uh, just tell the next day okay so it's basically stochastic that is opposite of deterministic okay so what is apocytic versus sequential so apocytic is basically the agent's experience okay means agent could have many much experience millions of experience it is going to divide into atomic episodes okay each episode what it will contain like as have you told you what the agent is it perceives through the sensor and is going to act upon uh, act through the and acting upon the actuator okay as i have told you in the first starting of this lecture so each episode will cons con consist of its agents perceiving and it's performing a single action that is through the actuators okay so that is called apocytic and if you talk about sequential that means the choice of action in each episode it's it will only depend on the episode itself okay so next we talk about static versus dynamic so let's first talk about static static means it's very easy something that is unchanged okay so the environment is unchanged while an agent is deliberating that is called static means the environment will not change it will remain unchanged so that is called basically static environment if we talk about dynamic environment that means the environment is going to the going to change with the passage of time that means what with what the agent is going to perform with the time passage of time the environment will also change with the agent's performance okay let's next talk about a discrete versus continuous so what is discrete 
discrete means limited you can talk about limited actions limited percepts okay what if you talk about continuous continuous means it's not limited it's unlimited okay why like, as you can see example example is checkers if you can see checkers is an example of a discrete environment and if you talk about self-driving car it evolves in a continuous world it means it does not have a limitation okay let me talk about single agent versus multi-agent so what is a single agent an agent operating by itself in an environment that means an agent that is operated by only itself and no one else multi-agent means an agent is not operating by itself it is operating by itself and more than other agents okay in an environment so this is the difference between single agent and multi-agent so next, the next one is a known versus unknown so known means that the designer of the agent okay he is having the knowledge about the environment making okay this is called known environment and if the environment is unknown okay that means the agent it needs to know the work in order to decide okay so that is unknown environment okay so this is the examples as you can see if you talk about eight puzzle it is fully observable single agents deterministic static and screen these are all the examples so that's all for today please subscribe my channel so that you can view all my latest videos related to this thank you